Um, so this is Carbonic versus Face Check My Bush. Uh, they perfectly started on there after the 15 minute leeway. Um, we did not end up streaming 1v1 Baseball versus Gray and Menace Bias because Gray ended up forfeiting. Um, several play like they just had pr trouble getting players uh, that c had committed to the time there before and ended up not being able to make it and one guy just chose to try and get gold <laughs> at the last night before um, the uh, season ends too so it took a vote and forfeited so that just happened um, so but this is this allows us to show carbonic versus a my bush a pretty high profile match with some great solo queue players so we're starting off with an elise band coming from carbonic uh, aimed at the jungler probably on uh, face check my bush let me check my notes and I can make sure we're so uh face check my bush's jungler is Rip City Swag. Elise is definitely one of his top junglers. Uh they're probably looking to take that out. A Trinomir band has come out against Nibble Swagger. Uh he does play quite a bit of Trinomir, I'd say uh the top dude to look out against him might have been like Renekton and Trinomir and Lissandra, so these are some strong good target bands coming out against them. Uh, the Nocturne Band coming out against Blue Dream Fainting, that is his top played champion. He is a Diamond 1 jungler. Um, but uh, he is very versatile. He's been playing with the club for a long time, and we all know him to be probably one of its scariest members. Um, I think they might just be trying to ban out his jungle. That might actually be okay to do, but probably also hard to do. Um, I mean, he's known for playing a very strong Jarvan, Nocturne, Lee Sin. But he's also he can also play like even Gragas jungle. So they did just straight up go and ban out uh, Blue Dream Fainting and all, all his junglers. Um, if they were looking for a big three, they Vi is still up. Uh, but um, of the two, I think Rip City plays that more than Blue Dream. But I don't think either would have a problem picking it up, no matter what. Uh, Caitlyn pick coming out from Carbonic. Uh, I think that's looking to possibly take that uh, really fantastic laning champion for themselves and not let Veontal have it. Uh, as their AD carry, the main AD carry um, is not with them, who is usually an Ezreal main. I would have to assume Vadriel is playing AD carry and is probably. Oh no, he is actually most likely supporting then, considering he spammed Sona and ranked. Um, so that's probably their support. So I would imagine then that possibly N is just going to play AD carry on Caitlyn and be pretty safe for him. Uh, Volibear coming out from Face Check My Bush. Probably Jungle Volibear, but it could be top lane. Um, and then Ezreal coming out from Nipple Swagga. Um, it is in his top three, so he's pretty comfortable on this. Uh, but, oh, no, picking up Renekton. <laughs> Alright, that is probably a very good pick from them. It's very hard to counter Renekton. He's a very, very strong champion right now. He's, his team potential is amazing. Um, and that takes that away from Mojo Kills, who plays Renekton. Uh, Zach coming out from Blue Dream. That is uh, definitely one of his top junglers. <laughs> Zach playing Zach. Uh, we'll have to see. Maybe he. Zach hasn't played as much recently because he's taken a couple nerfs, but he's still an extremely strong champion. Um, Lulu being picked up. Lulu Caitlyn being one of the best uh, push poke lanes in the game. It's very difficult to deal with a laning phase. And unless there's a big misplay, it's generally just something it you kind of just have to sit at your tower and try and farm as best you can and attempt not to die or force your jungler to like really try and gank them because they're really just gonna push and poke you out of lane all day um, let's see from them I kind of expect Ezreal to just be picked they were hovering over it and probably just went to Renekton as he's a higher priority uh, it will probably be picked up but they could also play um, Vein as well, that's left open and is a main of Van Uh They don't have too much. Uh, Zach Dive, okay. So Ezreal Sona, it's a very strong poke lane, so we could actually see these two lanes actually attempt to go uh, poke for poke with each other and really try and uh, gain dominance over the other. 
Zed coming out uh, for Zeminar. He's been playing that quite a bit, and he's, he's a very strong Zed. Um, mid laner yet to be picked for uh, face check my bush. So uh, I could at least give him a good chance to pick someone who's very good against Zed. And Nasus coming out um, for Mojo kills against Renekton. Um, that matchup generally uh, Nasus um, loses the early game, but will outscale Renekton. So they could be looking to make this go late game um, if they so choose. Kind of funny, Mojo picked. I uh, must not had Zed. Um, and uh, Jedward pulling out his Lux once again that he pulled out last week against Ex Machina. He did do very well on it. I uh, had a pretty. Oh, Mundo. <laughs> I think it will probably be Lux. Or possibly a different mid. Um, their comp right now is pretty poke intensive, so Lux makes a lot of sense. They do have some initiation. Uh, Volibears uh, can really um, capitalize on good Lux snares. So, unfortunately, Lux versus Zed is a very dangerous max, uh, very dangerous matchup for Lux. Um, despite her shields, uh, if she doesn't take barrier, which is very, it's a kind of a preference thing on Lux. I prefer barrier because you're typically not in range to cast Ignite um, for most of the game if you're kind of playing Lux correctly. But if people who like it in lane, you know, to get those 1v1 kills, uh, will take it. But Zed is pretty hard for Lux to play against um, because he has that ranged poke that he can utilize um, behind creep lines where Lux can't snare him and his ult is very devastating to her because she doesn't deal well with people who get up close. So they are going to head into match now and we'll count down the timer. Um, so pretty standard stuff from every team. Uh, there's no flash on Nasus top, and he chose to not run teleport. Instead, they have two exhausts. Uh, we'll have to see how um, FMB's jungler capitalizes on this. Uh, typically, um, flash is a pretty, it's kind of second to, or it's kind of above a ghost. But there's no Jarvan on that team. Um, there's no, like, unescapable wall for you need to flash. So Ghost could potentially still get him out of trouble against Renekton and Volibear. Um, he still could get, like, Flash thrown by Volibear, but he could pop ult and just Ghost out. So I think Mojo is going to be looking to make this a farm game for the most part um, and just try and avoid Renekton's early trading because he will get beat out there when Renekton slice and dices in, stuns, cues, and slices out. Um, Nasus really doesn't have a response to that at all early game and just needs to sit there and farm very heavily to scale into late game. Um, I really see them trying to take this to late game. They do have a much stronger late game comp than um, FMB. Caitlyn, Caitlyn scales better than Ezreal. Um, Lulu and Sona are about the same. Um, NASA scales way better than Renekton. Zack scales better than Volibear. Not by much, though. Um, but Zed definitely uh, can become a monster in the late game, while Lux generally requires um, sh some help kind of being a strong... Like she kind of requires a push getting fed a little bit, or... <laughs> just like winning her lane handedly by CS. So we'll see. Um, I think, at least as far as matchups go, I think uh, Renekton will win top lane kind of just due to matchup, and I don't think either of those players will necessarily misplay enough for that matchup to not go how it probably should. Um, I, I honestly think mid lane 
ha on from Carbonic has an edge against FMB. Zed is definitely a stronger champion um, in this matchup. Although he has changes, he's had changes recently, um, some buffs and nerfs. Uh, he really is still very strong, and they kind of just changed up how you play him a little bit. It's a little, you really have to be a little more careful with how you use your ult, but um, there, are also, there are also some safety nets attached, so it's just a little different than how he used to play, but he's still very good. I think what we're going to have to look to see is how the junglers play this game. I think, honestly, Volibear will be top uh, a lot, and uh, Zac will be mid a lot. I think this is going to be pretty much a game of which jungler is most successful in their camping. Uh, I really don't see... I really see both junglers really probably camping. I think uh, Zach will be a little more focused than Volibear. Volibear could certainly uh, roam mid a couple times, but if the Zed's playing carefully enough, he's, Zed is pretty hard to gank with his shadow. Alright. We have Shockblade Zed, Resistance Caitlyn, Dread Knight Nasus, and Wicked Lulu coming out for Carbonic. And only Steel Legion Lux and Pool Party Renekton for FMB. Though Pool Party Renekton is handily one of the coolest Renekton skins, as he gets to sit atop his throne in the top lane. So let's see. Uh, Lux did take Barrier, um, I'm glad to see that, I think he probably realized at the last second that without that Barrier, Zed really could have an easy time bursting her down, so that's a pretty good counter to Zed, and it works very well on Lux, um, neither top laner has Ignite, so, uh, they need to be careful when Dragon Fights come up, if one walks down, uh, the other needs to push really hard. Both those champions do push pretty well. Nasus with uh, his Spirit Fire and Renekton with Slice and Dice and Q can clear waves pretty fast, but Nasus typically push can push towers harder due to his Q. Uh, so Renekton really needs to be careful if he goes down for dragon fights. If Nasus chooses not to follow and the dragon fight does not go well, that could really, really be highly punished versus... Um, Renekton may not even get the tower if Nasus leaves and doesn't uh, properly capitalize. Um, although, it is interesting to see Nasus take Exhaust. Um, he might just be worried about Renekton really trying to kill him with his early advantage. But, uh, Teleport might have really worked in his favor. Um, because he can get to those dragon fights or get back from them really fast and really pressure these lanes. All right, we're in game. I'm going to adjust this so everyone can match up characters. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, everyone. Might have just blown out your eardrums. All right, that's all matched up. Lux is starting with a crystalline flask, um, so she's definitely just looking to try and stay in lane as long as possible and farm. Meanwhile, Zed started Doran's shield, so he's looking for a little extra health, a little sustain, and uh, to not take the um, ranged poke from Lux's auto attack uh, har harass as much, which is, her, with her range being pretty strong, is a really good tool to utilize. Um, a, lot, a lot of mid laners actually typically um, kind of disregard uh, the other, like how strong their auto attack is. Um, even if you're not, like, getting AD early in the game, levels 1 through 5 especially, an auto attack is still pretty strong with someone again, with someone who has not very much armor whatsoever and is a really good harass tool. Like, Ari is a really strong auto attacking champion, um, with a, you know, a mid champion with a real strong auto attack. Lux, anyone with a lot of range on their attack that can't typically be responded and can very easily punish uh, last hitting when their opponent can't strike back, especially when it doesn't consume mana, is it's a very important technique to learn to be able to auto attack harass, uh, besides just like, you know, using your skills and landing skill shots to harass. So, very, very safe start from these teams. Uh, 
neither team went for uh, you know deep wards in their opponent's jungles. Um, both uh, top laners just sat by their respective buff that they're not taking. Um, this could be maybe a lot of respect coming out of it, or just they don't really want to risk anything at all. Um, Ball Bear starting blue, Zach starting red. So assuming that they follow typical paths, they could actually be um, expecting to meet up with each other in the top lane. Zach actually a little bit faster than Vala Bear. I think he got a slightly better leash, and he's actually healthier than Vala Bear too. Um, Vala Bear actually starting boots, pots. So he didn't have that machete. That probably explains uh, his slow start. But that will actually give him a lot of gank presence early. Uh, in the mid lane, or, yeah, um, looks like they're just CSing, trying to harass each other off. Top lane, no trades have happened yet. I think they're probably waiting for the junglers. Zach is actually about to be top. And let's see what he does here. Here, co here he comes in for the gank, jumps in. 19 slice and dice is out, and he got the double, so he's out. But he actually got quite a bit of damage taken from him, so that's a good trade. Ball Bear backing out, deciding not to follow up after Zach leaves. Meanwhile, on bot lane, uh, looks like Sona and Ezreal are managing to push Caitlyn and Lulu to tower. Um, that might just be because of Sona's sustain uh, level two. It might have been able to heal up for some trade, but. Uh, Caitlyn is actually behind in quite a bit of... Oh, meanwhile, top lane went for another gank. While Volibear is just doing his wraiths. So they're really trying to put pressure on this one and really give uh, Nasus some breathing room in this early matchup. Um, mid lane trading more. Getting pretty low. Uh, Volibear is now heading top. And by meanwhile, Zach has pinged for to gank Lux. There are no wards, so if she extends a little bit, here, here he comes in. Mm, yep, here's the... So, unfortunately, the shield negates pretty much all that damage. Uh, Ball Bear now coming mid. Might find Zack in this bush. Now he gets out, and Zed just backs off. Top lane, Renekton is actually winning in farm, despite getting ganked, but it's not by too much... Um, Ezreal still with a farm lead. Uh, Lulu having a couple more wards than Sona. Uh, because Sona warded right here and right here. And Lulu only warded there. Volibear sitting top. Looking to possibly bait out uh, Renekton's Wither. Here we go. So the ghost is out. But Anissa is too fast. And Wither is thrown down. So Volibear unsuccessfully ganks. Volibear unfortunately probably have a hard time ganking Nasus with uh, Wither up um, as that'll just make it very difficult for him to get to him but a successful ghost was blown which uh, could mean a lot. Meanwhile Zeminar going pretty hard in trades but Lux's shield is making it very difficult for him to uh, trade effectively he's just going to back now Lux is probably almost out of crystalline flask at this point uh, I believe she is now but that's definitely helped her stay in this lane she's been taking a lot of her ass uh, looks like bot lane Caitlyn Lulu have managed to push back to tower and now river is in try rewarded Lux is winning in CS um, oh Rekton goes in takes the tower hit that actually ends up being pretty even trade because of that tower hit. Ball Bear coming bot, but he is spotted by this ward. Um, let's see, they probably are just going to back off here. Yeah, they get pretty far back. This is warded too, so even if they were to push the wave. Okay, so I'm just going to clear, but bot lane should know at this point from seeing Ball Bear and River that she's clearly clearing this ward for Ball Bear. Um, there's Ball Bear. They should be able to get out of this pretty cleanly. I don't think. So there goes Volibear's time. Zack is coming for the counter gank though. Zed is sitting in the dragon pit. They could collapse on Volibear. Zack misses jump, but Zed ults. Jumps over. 
and first blood. Very good play by Zed. Uh, that was clearly Zed's power play. Uh, hitting six and quickly finding Fall Bear level four trapped in river. Um, and that was really good ward coverage from Carbonic's bot lane. Having this river warded um, really showed them where Vala Bear was sitting. And then Sona kind of showed her hand by trying to pink this and really just gave away that Vala Bear was sitting there. And uh, he just kind of chose a poor exit um, from his attempted gank, honestly. And Zed had moved down with the Zaku at counter gank. So this is unfortunately going to cost them their blue that will... It's a good thing to note that uh, when you're looking to counter jungle and making uh, team objectives, um, generally if you know the buff that uh, they started at, it's almost always going to spawn around 7:20, uh, you know, seven between 7:15 and 7:25 essentially, as that's about five minutes after the general clear time. Um, usually, it comes from 7:05 if you had a really good leash, really quick uh, jungler. But it's really good if you want to make plays on a buff steal if you know you managed to capitalize on that. Look for you know 705, 715, and then like eight eight minutes to get the other buff when they run to the second one. And always try and keep track of any enemy buffs. So that's five minutes for Golem and Lizard, and then of course six minutes for Dragon, seven minutes for Baron. But uh, keeping track of your own buff timers as well as your enemy buff, uh, buff timers can really give you an advantage. Give and it gives Zach like an extra blue where he can easily go get Zed blue now. And that's uh, two blues. So Zed went back and bought uh, Billswater Cutlass with his first blood, um, which gives Zed a ton of extra damage when he ults because his ult will amplify the Billswater Cutlass damage. That's why Blade of the Rune King is just so amazing on Zed, despite him being uh, slightly less auto attacky than um, someone who typically will get that item. Uh, Lux though is still managing to uh, out CS him, but she's kind of she's itemizing incorrectly against Zed though. Here comes the gank from Zack. The ult goes down. Flash comes out from Lux. Flash from Zed. The, oh no, the ult. Excuse me. But he's going to back away from that with his ult down. Uh, and Lux burned both barrier on that uh, ult too. So she lost both summoners for that, and Zed just lost ult. So that's a very good trade. Ult coming out from Lux. The gank from Ball Bear. A little bit of overstaying on Zed's part after getting pretty low from that exchange. Getting caught by a snare. Reacting is coming down. He uses Shadow to... I think he's going to just try and probably die to a turd at this point. He really can't get out of this. Giving it to Ball Bear would be better. Nope, execution. So, unfortunately, no gold goes to FMB. That was very good on Zed's part, realizing that he really wasn't going to get out of there and just doing it. Meanwhile, bot lane uh, for FMB managed to push uh, Carbonic back so much that they got tower. But Sona's a little overextended here, and that's going to be the pickup kill for Caitlyn. So, um, both of those kind of represented ideas of after you make after plays are made, um, whether it's you know ganking and trying to kill someone or you know taking a tower you really should probably just get out of there and play it safe if you were put really if you were put even like at 50 percent because there's still the ability for the team to uh, enemy team to retaliate and possibly take something off of your aggressive objective uh, move so top lane let's check Nasus's q it's currently at 120 bonus damage um so he's doing a pretty good job of getting that up. Renekton has actually gone Spectral Cal. So again, he's not itemizing for uh, Nasus, who's outside of Spirit Fire. Is he's kind of a mix. He's mostly physical damage though with his Q and auto attacks. Um, with Spirit Fire doing a little bit of magic damage and his ult doing some magic damage. Uh, but really, if you look at this team with Nasus, Zed, and Caitlyn. Uh, Zack is really the only big source of AP, and he's probably going to go uh, Spirit of the Ancient Golem and tank build. So this Chalice and Spectral Cal coming out from the mid and top laner, excuse me, an ult coming in from Zack and Zed, Lux is just too overextended in lane. Without wards, 
and that's going to be taken down. Meanwhile, an exchange in the top lane. Uh, getting the early sheen on Nasus with his Q so stack is really chunking Renekton because he did not go for any form of armor item except Doran's shield. So he's really losing these trades when he could have properly itemized for the lane. Uh, Zach just chasing out Volibear. So, I mean, you have to look at, um, really, despite, it's, it's low kills and it's close farm. Oh, a dive from Zach. Zed going in, but Volibear's passive has popped and he's out. Uh, that was the flash from Volibear, though. Dive again, but Lux is back, so this could... This is pretty dangerous. But Volibear decided to chase when he really um, should have stayed at tower. So that resulted in a kill. I think um, he really underestimated how fast Zed could burst him. Uh, but Zed is Zed is really good farm. Same with Caitlyn. You know, 100, uh, at like 13 minutes. Like generally, that's like amazing at 10 if you're you know fantastic. But that's pretty good farm right now. Uh, AD carries keeping up with each other. Renekton is really just costing himself. Uh, he really should realize that he can't trade with Nasus at this point, and should really just be trying to farm at tower or call for ganks top uh, instead of trying to continuously do these trades. Because at this point, Nasus is just going to outdamage him because Nasus bothered to get a cloth armor along with his Doran shield, uh, which properly itemizes for Renekton's damage. So again, look, and Nasus could potentially uh, kill if he wanted to tank tower. I think he's going to play this safe. But on this next exchange, um, if Renekton goes in again and tries to hit him, he's just going to wither, uh, you know, ult wither in Q, and he's going to chase him down under tower because he has both summoners up, and Renekton will have to flash or die. At that point, he's just going to get free turret damage. Meanwhile, bot lane, um, looks like a bit of a ward war is going on. Uh, kind of trying to keep vision up for purple side, but, uh, they haven't been able to get out and get their vision up. I imagine a dragon fight's going to happen soon. Um, purple side is really lacking on vision anything across the river. They kind of just have their own entrances warded against gangs. And this one just went down. Um, so Zach could potentially tower gank if they're going to push heavy. Which he could just pick up this Sona really fast. Um, and she can't see him. So unfortunately that's just going to be... That's the flash. Uh... Ezreal has to take the Q or the ult from Caitlyn. Zach flashes and Ezreal barriers. So, and they get tower. They could probably drag off this too with Sona dead and Ezreal having to back. Volibear is also going top, so they don't know where he is and they're kind of low. So I think they're probably gonna like they're not gonna risk the dragon because of a low vision. But had Volibear, they had a ward here and they seen Volibear going top, that would have been a very safe dragon, especially because they had this pink and they know purple team can't see them. Meanwhile, uh, Nasus does kill Renekton. I imagine... I'll go back a little bit. Um, this was probably Renekton. Again, trying to trade with Nasus. And Nasus having full health, ult, and all summoners. So again, yeah, he goes in. He's trying to, like, fight and CS. But he he's too low a health. And Nasus just very easily can set up. A little bit of a disrespect taunt dance on the body. Uh, <laughs> not the best, but... Lux gets... Oh, Lux does manage to pull off a kill on Zed after a tower dive from Zed. That was very good play on Jedward's part. Um, you know, he went, he was going down, but at least he managed to like clean up and like punish uh, Zeminar for his really aggressive play. Um, me, I mean. Maybe if he had built an armlet, he might have, you know, been able to survive even, uh, as he kind of ticked down to the last second from Ignite. Mid has moved, uh, bot has moved mid, and it really looks like they're trying to group for Dragon. They know this should be happening, but, um, these pink wards are severely limiting FMB's vision right now. They are going to pink this so they lose their blue vision on blue. But uh, they're, they're kind of getting strangled up in here, especially because um, somehow they managed to push their bot lane out. I don't know if they didn't freeze, but um, 
they can't safely farm and they can't get vision out. And uh, Sona doesn't have enough wards. Um, she hasn't gotten any money from assists like Lulu has, so those assists are uh, easily Lulu's extra pink wards, um, even when you compare their I their you know items being pretty similar. Um, and that might have been just also Sona's buying a couple mana pots because they're close and m money. Nasus has kind of just, um, I mean, he's just won this lane at this point. Uh, he'd have to really misplay. He's keeping it warded so that one can come up from River and gank him. But he's just chunking Renekton, who, again, even after Spectral Cow decided to just go Spirit Visage, and he's just not itemizing for Nasus, and Nasus is tearing him apart with Iceborne Gauntlet. Uh, I mean, you look at his Q now, it's up to 279 bonus damage from essentially being able to free farm. And mid, you know, mid lane is taken, uh, it was pretty low. Uh, nice combo ult from Lulu and Zack. I would have liked to see uh, Lulu wait maybe just one moment uh, to cast that because she cast it at the exact same time that Zack ulted, so um, the knockup wasn't taken into full effect. That kill goes to Sona. Um, at least they pick it up, but not the best place for a kill to go. Zed kind of stuck out. Um, I th think that was actually a misplay on Zed's part. Uh, he Nezreal started to walk away, and Zed actually kind of walked up and showed himself. So I think he actually could have gotten out of there had he just been patient and really checked if Ezreal was going to come up and then gone over and risked it, but that's unfortunate. Caitlyn, meanwhile, just farming very safely, keeping your farm high. She has Infinity Edge. Um, tried to help in that fight with the ult, but it wasn't much. Uh, we're starting to look at just the tower pressure now. Um, all three outer turrets have been taken for Carbonic, while only one has been taken for FMB. And Caitlyn has been keeping this lane so pushed that uh, they haven't really been any putting any pressure bot. Uh, I believe... Dragon was taken by uh, Carbonic as well, so um, the gold lead is starting to really build up with these three towers and Dragon. Um, farm is now shooting uh, ahead um, in top lane with Renekton unable to compete. AD carries are still extremely even and mid is still very close too and so is jungle. So this is really... Um, Top lane, kind of, here's the gank though. This is kind of what they needed to do, but earlier, I mean, we see Nasus pop Ghost, but he really probably didn't even need to. Um, here comes Lulu in to help. Nasus is just really big now with how much he's been able to free farm, and he really, meanwhile, Zed dives Lux, but is taken down by Sona again, and Zack takes out Zed. So fights happening in both mid and top lane, um, actually going in FMB's favor as uh, it's a two for one, but unfortunately that kill again goes to Sona. Nasus looking to get ganked. He does not have Ghost now. Will the ult come out from Sona? No, he's just going to walk off after withering. Oh, the slow from Sona. Charge from Volibear. Wither comes out, but he is now stuck uh, with no one to help him. Unfortunately, he is so tanky that it is really taking everything they can to maybe get him, but he's going to go down regardless. Um, and Sona does end up taking aggro, so not even Volibear falls. So at least... Oh! And Ezreal again forced out of lane with Caitlyn ult, and they're just pushing and taking lane. So that's a very good job on bot lane. Bot lane is really doing well to capitalize on almost I want to say uneventfulness uh, I mean sometimes it can seem boring but Lulu's been doing a good amount of uh, roaming ever since the turret went down and Caitlyn has been confident enough with the vision that her support is giving her that she can continuously push and farm this lane and really apply pressure while being really safe from any kind of gank and not and she hasn't died so she's just been getting towers and farm and staying big meanwhile uh, Ezreal really hasn't been able to be that much stronger than her to really risk dueling her and her team's been close um, so great play from Caitlyn being just a good pusher and helping her team like uh, really apply pressure allowing, allowing Lulu to uh, roam as well and not need to be not being needed in the bot lane 
Tank jumping in. They're looking to collapse, probably on Sona and Volibear. The ult comes out from Zed. Uh, and the, the counter ult from Sona. Sona flashes over. Zed flashes. Picks up Sona. And then gets picked up by Ezreal. Meanwhile, Volibear uh, gets out. Zach dives onto Renekton and Volibear unknowingly. But Asus is here and absolutely just releasing the power. Um, he's big from that buy with, with uh, Kindle Gem and uh, Negatron Cloak. And is looking to just clean up Ezreal. Caitlyn comes in, finishes Ezreal, and they might be able to get Nasus, but I think they're just going to push mid tower. With both Nasus and Caitlyn being pretty big, that tower will easily go down with Qs. Um, so, I think they need to turn at this point. They might be able to kill Renekton. No. But Nasus is just chunking turrets. Um, this is kind of, I mean, this shows kind of a misplay that Top had by really not respecting Nasus and not itemizing for him and just letting him free farm. Uh, Volibear really should have been up top, really punishing Nasus's early deficit against Renekton uh, for their power levels. But he really didn't, and he kind of just wandered around and unsuccessfully ganked a couple lanes and got caught out, so... It's, it's just a misplay on FMB on where their pressure should have been in the early game. And now this Nasus is going to be really difficult to take. As we saw, it took five of them, or excuse me, it took three out of five of them to take on that Nasus. Uh, Sona has picked up an Oracle, so it's Lulu, but she's, uh, I mean, she's definitely down in gold at this point. And, uh,. She's actually up because of the two shutdown kills, actually. My bad. Um, so, oh, another, that's another uncontested dragon, though, coming out for Carbonic. Um, I mean, they even had a ward there, and they just don't think they can fight. They're 7k behind, and uh, FMB is really looking to, they really need to, like, at this point, they need to get under tower. Uh, wait for them to push and really hope Carbonite makes a misplay because they do have a lot of poke and a decent catch potential But they really can't fight them right now in an outright team fight. Nasus will just roll over one person um, And Zach will just disrupt everything They're gonna try and push down mid though. This is almost they're gonna let Nasus free push here, like just and he could probably get top tower if they can buy enough time. But all right, the old from Sona, the old from Lux. Uh, Carbonic needs to back off at this point. Um, I feel like they're really kind of misplaying. They obviously have a big, are much stronger than them, and they're really letting uh, Face Chipmunk Bush apply a lot of pressure. But they are buying time for Nasus, who is just wailing on this turret. So in the end, um, if they can just be safe and not get it killed here, if they give up, oh, Zach dives in, ults, unfortunately, uh, Kitlin is caught by Lux, their flashes are blown, they're backing off, Volibear is taken down though for staying too deep, Ezra is getting picked up, they're actually, uh, Zach's passive is blown, meanwhile, Nasus is up here blowing through base turret at this point, and FMB is forced to retreat. So they really needed to back off as soon as they got that tower because they're letting Nasus just blow through everything. He is with his Iceborne Gauntlet and now what I imagine to be at least 300 bonus damage. Uh, 384, almost 400. Uh, Ezreal could actually die here if Nasus really wanted it, but Imit Inhibitor is definitely more important. Uh, he's going to probably Ghost Exhaust Ezreal. Uh, he could, actually. I think he's underestimating how much he can do. Uh, meanwhile, Lux is getting just bombarded. Oh, Zed picked up, though. Kind of just... Oh, <laughs> and Lulu. Again, so both teams probably just need to work on, like, getting away after they take some kind of objective, going to heal. Uh, both these teams have kind of pushed their luck a couple times, diving too far or staying after getting a tower and resulted in death. Oh, Nasus has been found. He's sitting on a ward. He is going to just try and demolish Lux, though, with Ghost Exhaust. He might be able to do it, but I think he's going to just get tied it too well. So, he's down. That was a good attempt from Mojo. He obviously, you know, realized that he could chunk Lux quite a bit. But, 3v1 is really going to always pretty...
commonly go in the favor of the three man who can coordinate and properly CC and kite. Um, so that was that was a good word from Sona to have there. That caught uh, Mojo. Maybe he just should have backed a little farther away. But Zed dives in and instantly erases Lux, who had been taken solo from Nasus. The Lulu ult comes out on Zack, and now here comes the Zack ult. Um, they're just pushing down mid with just so much power right here, being 10k gold ahead. Ezreal being just erased now. Um, Zed, 10 kills, and now Zed is... Might get the Penta. Oh, no, Scumbag Zack takes the ace. Uh, so that is only a quadra for Zack. Or for Zed. Oh well. Scumbag Zack taking the penna. Alright, that's a second inhibitor for Carbonic. At this point, they, they're they probably going to back off to play it safe. But this this is really ant, uh, over. Um, they're they really have a free Baron here. Having two inhibitors down. And FMB just not having any vision in this air part of the jungle. Um, that this is just free, and then once they have this, they can back or even just go right back in with the Baron sustain and end the game. Uh, I don't think Lux can even get out here and anywhere close to quick enough time to even try and ult steal. Some early smite goes out, but they know because there's no one around. They have the uh, vision. So at this point, Ezreal is really uh, the only one who's still like Lux has a lot of damage, and Ezreal are the big contenders, but. Uh, Lux is just getting dove on and just doesn't have the mobility to escape. And I think, honestly, the choice to not go Zonia's right off the bat uh, is really costing her here because she can't deal with like people diving on her, especially Zed early game. Surrenderfoot was attempted, but I, I guess the team has decided not to go through with it. Um, so... Zack is pretty tanky with a Spirit Vestige and Ancient Golem. He's actually got Home Guards, and th they've bought Alexers now at this point. They're popping them. They're ready to make this the last fight. Zed's going to ult Lux, and I think she's just down. Uh, yeah, he's just so big right now with another BF sword picked up. Um, I believe Nasus will probably do a quarter health, health to Towers. He's got... 400 extra bonus damage with an Iceborne Gauntlet. Yeah, he's just eviscerating towers. Um, and this will be the final push. I just don't think they can stand against them. It's now a 13k gold lead. Um, and really excellent play coming out from Carbonic. Um, really, this came down to... Um, it was much. It was a really good performance um, from them. Really respecting their lane matchups more than F FMB did and uh, capitalizing with uh, better jungle ganks and objective taking. Um, I'll say, uh, very good job from Caitlyn, who hasn't died this whole game, uh, and really g gave a lot of pressure bot lane, and really good job to top lane um, for really, I mean, he did a good job, but I think a lot of uh, his success came out of Renekton's uh, poor choices. It was a really, really bad idea to rush Spirit Visage. Um, there really was no reason to rush that item. No, like, carry on that team did heavy amounts of magic damage. And not rushing that Sunfire or Randuin's or any kind of armor item against Nasus just resulted in Nasus tearing him apart in mid-game in trades. Uh, because he just wasn't respecting that champion's the damage with uh, his Q. So, that's kind of an unfortunate misstep, and I think at the same time Lux did the same thing, and bother, didn't bother to go Seeker's Arm Guard and get some armor against Zed, and really paid the price, because eventually Barrier and her shield just wasn't enough, she really needed a Zonius and didn't have it, and looked like she wasn't even buying it here, this looks like a uh, Void Staff. So I hope the next game to really see uh, Face Check My Bush needs to respect their lane matchups more and really look at the damage coming out um, from the opposing team because they really itemized improperly here and it really cost them uh, like the mid game and that just spiraled out of control at that point so we'll go into the next game here this is a game a two game series